Okay. Hey girls. So for my project, I had St. Benedict of Nursia. Yay! By Jacqueline Ryan. Next slide. Okay. So St. Benedict of Nursia was born around the year 480 in Nursia, which is a small town in Italy. Italy. So he grew up in a wealthy house with like his parents and he has a twin sister named Scholastica. And so when he was like of age to like go to college or whatever, St. Benedict, his parents sent him to Rome to study the liberal arts. But when he was in Rome, he saw a bunch of priests around. He saw how happy they were with their life and how they devoted their life to God and how much they loved that. And so he was inspired by them and he himself um, left Rome, which was kind of a big deal because his parents gave him all this opportunity to grow and start a new life and a new future. And he just left all of that behind and became a hermit. And so then he lived alone in a little cave and had no contact with the outside world except for this one man that would come and he would actually, um, it would be like a pulley system. So he would pull down the some bread for him to eat for the week. And yeah, um, so... The monks celebrate his feast day on March 21st, my birthday. Um, and then the Roman Catholic Church celebrates his feast day on July 11th. And he is the patron saint of Europe. And he's also best known as the founding patriarch of Western monasticism. So, yeah. And he um, he started... a monastery of or he started a monastery with a bunch of communities within it and he um his fame like spread across the world and some people got jealous of him and one person even tried to poison him it's kind of weird okay so then my favorite quote from him is the sleepy like to make excuses I don't know. I think I just think that's cool because I don't know. It's funny. Um. So, for social justice, um. He. So he was when he was in the cave. A bunch of um, monks from a ministry nearby came up to him and were like begging him to lead them, and everything. And so he. Finally, even though he didn't really want to, he said that he would. And um, so when he went to lead them or whatever, and he was living with them, and they just, like, did not really devote their life to... Sorry. They didn't devote their life to God, and um, they were just, like, careless. They didn't really seem like they wanted to do it. So he was kind of fed up with that. Um, and he said... Go and find an abbot, which is the leader, to your taste. For after what you have done, you can no longer keep me with you. So I think that this is like social justice because he kind of taught them a lesson of and like humbled them and kind of put them in their place in saying how um, if they really want to do this and be a monk, they really have to devote their life. And also he wrote um, this rule thing where it's a bunch of advice on how to, um, how men and women can live their Christian lives just like everyday regular things and what they can do to like improve themselves and to help the church community. Um, and there's also like tips on monks and stuff in there. Um, so in order to live out the mission, we can read that rule that he was saying, that I was just saying, um, and just help all men and it helps all men and women on basic activities and by reading that we can live a well-grounded appreciative catholic life go saint benedict yay okay that's all i have